Welcome to today's video. Today we're doing one of the best Christmas movies of all times, video games. Die Hard. Alright, let us see how things go. <laughs> Alright, so what we have here is a top-down shooter, huh? That's kind of cool. We do have a mechanic. Wow, that just starts us right off into it, doesn't it? Wow, that's rough. But a very interesting shadowing mechanic. So that is kind of unique and interesting. I like it. You don't see around walls. So you don't know what's going to happen until you get there. I mean, it's a, it's a shame that it's a movie tie-in game. This would be probably be better just as a standalone game. Because, I mean, we really don't have... I mean, you don't really see McLean. It, it's, it's pretty generic as far as that goes. But the controls are, are decent. I really do like the whole shadowing kind of fog of war, so to speak mechanics in this game. Whoa! Because of shit like that. Where you don't know what's coming. Realistically, you, you don't just get this top-down view of the whole level where you're like, oh hey, there's somebody hiding behind the wall. So that is actually pretty cool. Okay, so you do get to run. Whoa! I don't know why you're picking up cigarettes. Oh, you break the you can break the glass. That's kind of cool. Although these enemy weapons is kind of ridiculous with that. Jesus criminy. Yeah, that is a, that is one thing I'm not a fan of is this this uh, it looks like the contra spread gun where the the bullets are just like in this arc for some stupid reason. All right. Well, how do we? Oh, wow. You lose. Game over. It's a very unique and interesting game. I think it's more unique than some of the other games we've done. Ah, It is very unforgiving. That's for damn... Oh, I'm out of bullets. How am I out of bullets? How did I lose? Oh, there's the stairs. How did I lose my gun? Alright, so I'm screwed. I've got no... <laughs> oh, I'm getting... Yeah, I am completely hosed on that one. Alright, let's try this again. How did I lose my gun? You trying to avoid getting hit is a uh, is not really a, a thing in this game. Like that is that is one of the things that this game would be better if it was. Again, what the hell happened to my weapon? That is, again, that is like the one thing that is very uh, disappointing in this game. Is the enemy, the way they their guns shoot, and they're just like this random arc of unavoidableness. But there is a lot of really interesting and cool mechanics in the game. 
like the blowing the blowing up of the windows, which of course is iconic in the movie. Um, I do. I still do like the fog of war. I just don't like the way the enemy the enemy fire. You can't avoid it. There's no bopping, weaving. There's no hiding behind cover and doing cover fire. Nothing of the sort. You really are just kind of at a major disadvantage. I mean, I'm sure after a while you might get more of the, the hang of partially doing it. But just the nature of how they attack is pretty rough. And apparently there's a time limit. All right, you can't open any doors, most doors. So there's no like going in. I haven't seen anything you can push a button like for the elevator. So nothing of that sort. Yeah, see like here's an elevator and you can't go in it or push the button, so you're... I mean, it sounds like the enemy can do it. Oh. Maybe I did? Interesting, let's go to 34. Okay, I stand corrected. It looks like you can use the elevator. It doesn't give you any indication that you are or can, until just all of a sudden where you do. All right, you've got stairs. What in the hell? How am I stunned since when did... We have our flash grenades too, all right. So select, we can choose between our gun, or our grenades, or running. We haven't picked up a machine gun yet. I guess you don't actually use the elevator. I think it sounds like it just randomly does its... Holy cow, we, we, we got two guys in one... That was crazy. All right, so the upper left number is the floor you're on. Let's see, let's go to 33. It doesn't really say where we need to be going or... Flashbang myself. Ah, uh, it's kind of a bullet hell, but usually when you play a bullet hell, you're kind of quick. John McClane is not a fast man, <laughs> but all in all, it has a lot of unique for the time period, anyways. Uh, mechanics in it, which is actually kind of nice. The game really isn't bad. There's nothing negative really to say about it. Other than it takes a lot of getting used to, it is somewhat unforgiving, and uh, yeah, other than that, I think it's definitely a fun, playable game that I wouldn't mind revisiting and giving it a good playthrough, but um, for now, I think we're going to take a little break on it because it is a little frustrating on the same note. So uh, on that note, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Till next time, have a good day.